Hey everyone, welcome to the ranking. Here's my ranking of Aaron Sorkin's movies. Yes, I love, one of my favorite parts of any movies is writing. Good writing with good characters, fleshed out characters, great dialogue, great storytelling, all thanks to an amazing screenplay. And I love writers. I talk a lot about filmmakers and directors and stuff, composers, mostly actors and stuff. So when I do like top tens and rankings, I do mostly rankings and top tens for actors, movie genres, movies themselves, the franchises, but mostly directors and actors. I don't talk enough about screenwriters. I, yeah, I did Charlie Kaufman, but I should do more uh, ranking videos based off of screenwriters, because screenwriters are just, just as important, if not more important, than the directors. And I thought i do a ranking of Aaron Sorkin, because his new movie's coming out called Molly's Game with uh, Jessica Chastain. He's writing and directing that movie, which is pretty sweet, and I thought to celebrate that movie, I'd do a ranking of all his films that he's written from my least favorite to my favorite. Yes, he's written a lot of episodes for shows, but this is just the movies. Just the movies. And yeah, he's written seven films, and they're all very well-written films, so let's get to it. Here's my ranking of all of Aaron Sorkin's movies from my least favorite to my favorite. Right, let's get to it. Coming at number seven is Malice. Yes, Malice is number seven for me. This, this is a wildly mediocre film, even though there is a lot of interesting plot points and really good twists and turns. I could tell he was really trying with the screenplay. This movie was also written by Scott Frank, another great screenwriter. Just and This movie's jam-packed with a lot of great actors. You got like Bill Pullman, Alec Baldwin, uh, Nicole Kidman, David Bowie, just a lot of big A-list actors are in this movie, and the movie is, um... The movie's overly confusing at times, and I feel like the movie was trying so hard to be, you know, edgy and put a lot of twists in it. It just came off a little convoluted, and it didn't really make much sense at times. The performances are really good, and it is very uncomfortable and very gritty and stuff, and I wanted to like it. Just, I found it kind of underwhelming by the end of the film, and I'm just like, this movie's over, overly stuffed, and they cram so much in it. It feels bloated and very convoluted, and it times it just doesn't make sense and I feel like, Aaron, like this is when Aaron Sorkin was just starting out I feel like he was going a little too far with his writing and stuff he was going too heavy with some of the plot elements it was just go, it was just going way too confusing and stuff and I feel like he didn't get his foothold with this movie and luckily he did with his other films but yeah this is definitely not a bad movie but definitely his weakest film Coming number six is Charlie Wilson's War. Charlie Wilson's War, again, a movie I just talked about. I love this movie. This is a really great movie and a really well-written movie. Aaron Sorkin, how he wrote this film, and yeah, this is also between Michael Nichols' direction, also great performances, but how he wrote this film was really well done. Like, how he wrote the characters, how he balanced the comedy and the drama was really well done, because if you went too far with the comedy, it would have been like borderline satire if you went too serious it would have been more of like a political movie or a historical movie he wanted to balance both genres and he did it perfectly with his writing the great dialogue the great characters the great scenarios these characters go through through the plot it's really well done it's really fleshed out and yeah it's really well done and i love how mike nichols is and I love how also how Mike Nichols directed the film. And there's also just great performances. Amy Adams, uh, Julia Roberts, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Tom Hanks, all great in this movie. And it's just all a great film and a very overlooked movie. And people should check this one out. It's a really great movie. And yeah, one of the best screenplays Aaron Sorkin has written. Not the best, but one of them. Come number five is The American President. The American President uh, is a really great film. Again, this is uh, directed by Rob Reiner, uh, a guy I'll be getting to real soon and this this movie's great i love again aaron sorkin can balance comedy and drama perfectly and i want to i don't want to gush about this movie too much because i'm going to be talking about it in my top 10 favorite rob reiner movies this is it's a top 10 list that i'm going to be releasing soon so i don't want to talk too much about this movie and i've already talked about it in a movie before it's a great movie about a relationship with a president and a lobbyist and stuff it talks about the realism of politics and relationships and how the press can like spin your relationships and spread gossip and rumors it's a really uh, realistic and very comedic take about politics and yeah it's got the Aaron Sorkin sort of dialogue and it's just really good. It's funny, it's heartwarming, it's enjoyable, it's romantic. I absolutely love it. 
Coming number four is Moneyball. Moneyball, oh, such a good movie. This was really solid. Uh, you got Brad Pitt, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Jonah Hill, great, uh, Chris Pratt, a lot of great performances in this movie. This is about Billy Bean, and he was uh, a player for the Oakland, Oakland A's and stuff. Then he became the general manager. And pretty much they, they're like one of the most brokest teams in Major League Baseball. And he gets Jonah Hill, who's like this like math genius. And they use mathematics to pick players to make their team better. And their team becomes a, like a really great team. And they like win like this big winning streak. And it's one of the biggest winning streaks in Major League Baseball. And they basically proved a point that no matter how broke your team is, you can still have a good team if you know how to pick the players and stuff. And in the character Billy Bean, he used uh, statistics and mathematics with Jonah Hill to pick interesting players. He gets on base. What does he do? Gets on base. What does he do? Gets on base. Such a great film, a really good character study about Billy Bean himself. Brad Pitt is amazing. Jonah Hill is so good in this film. And I love it. It's not about baseball. It's about math. And I just I love a simple story about that, and I absolutely love it. It's a true story, and a great story, and great film. Coming number three is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, oh, I, yeah, I feel like I'm like one of the very few people that actually love this movie. I know people that like it. Some people find it boring, but I know some people that like it. I love this movie. I think this movie is top freaking notch. I think this is so fucking good. This was one of my favorite movies of 2015. I still stand by it. I stand by that shit. I think this is such a great film. I love Danny Boyle's direction. I love Michael Fassbender in this movie as Steve Jobs. Kate Winslet is so great in this movie. Seth Rogen as Wozniak as the Woz. He's so great. Jeff Daniels is great. It's just the performances are so solid. And how they balance the story. It's not a biopic about Steve Jobs, but it's about three launches. It's about three different launches in each different decades and stuff. How he It's about Steve Jobs launching a new product and what's happening with his life during these launches. And the, I love the way they filmed each uh, act of the movie during each launch. Because uh, the, the the filmmaking is different because they're showing the the technical the, they're showing the technological growth of filmmaking and also technology with you know Steve Jobs technology and stuff and how he's you know making these new uh, these new devices for Apple computers and everything and it's just a fascinating film and how the movie is structured and executed and shot and made and crafted is so brilliant. And Aaron Sorkin's, Aaron Sorkin's screenplay just adds to the amazingness. It's got the great dialogue, the witty dialogue, fascinating characters, great, great conversations. The conversations in this movie is what makes it so great, especially the conversations with Wozniak and Steve Jobs, the best scenes of the whole film. And yeah, I absolutely love this movie. I'm actually annoyed that I don't even think it, I don't think it was down for a screenplay, which is fucking insulting, but I think it's a great film, and I absolutely love it, and it's one of the best written Aaron Sorkin screenplays. It is just so good. Coming number two is A Few Good Men. Yes, you can't handle the truth, you fucking people. Um, another movie I've talked like to death about this movie, and again, I I'm going to be talking about it in my Rob Reiner list, so I don't need to gush too much about this film. It's a great movie. It's a great uh, war uh, crime story because it's about these guys who killed the soldier because of a code red and they have to find out what a code red is. It's a great movie. It's mostly a courtroom case movie about these soldiers and stuff and what the right thing to do is. Are these men legit good men? And I love this movie. Tom Cruise is in this movie. Jack Nicholson, Demi Moore, Kevin Pollack, J.T. Walsh, uh, Kevin Bacon. Everyone is just incredible. Cuba Cunningham Jr. in a very small role. I absolutely love this movie. And Aaron Sorkin's writing is so great. This is, I think, one of his very first screenplays and it's top notch. And my number one favorite Aaron Sorkin movie is, everyone knows what it is, it's, it's what won him his Academy Award, and that's The Social Network. The Social Network is one of my favorite David Fincher movies, it's not my all-time favorite, everyone knows my favorite is Seven. I love this movie, I love The Social Network, I think it is such a great film, Jesse Eisenberg, Andrew Garfield, Justin Timberlake, um, Brenda Song, uh, everyone's great in this movie, I absolutely adore I adore, I adore this film. David Fincher's direction is fantastic. It's not even very Fincher-esque, but it works. It's so good. How he uh, crafts this film and the, with the shots and the score, and most importantly, the screenplay. Army Hammer, he's also great in this movie as the Winklevice. Uh, 
The screenplay is so great. The dialogue is absolutely amazing. It is so smart, so clever, so freaking snappy, and it won a Miss Academy Award, and rightfully so. It's so fucking good. The story is great. The conversations are great. I absolutely love it. This movie is amazing. Mostly, the, yes, a lot of people say it because of the performances, like Jesse Eisenberg is amazing as Mark Zuckerberg and stuff, and it's Fincher. Yes, Fincher's an amazing director, but... Most importantly, I think Aaron Sorkin's screenplay is what transcends this movie to greatness. The writing is so freaking good. And yeah, hands down, one of the best written screen one of the best screenplays in all film, and my favorite Aaron Sorkin screenplay of all time. It's just such a great script. So yeah, that was my ranking of all of Aaron Sorkin's movies, from my least favorite to my favorite. So in the comment section below, please tell me, did you agree with this ranking? If not, what is your ranking of all of Aaron Sorkin's movies? From your least favorite to your favorite, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.